Hello Virgo, welcome and welcome back to the underground. We're going to get into this love reading for you guys. Oh man, and when you guys, and you're short, <clears throat> you definitely had somebody who was holding back. I don't know if, listen, you may want to go watch that Leo reading. You may have Leo in your chart. Okay, you might be dealing with Leo, I don't know. But kind of similar message came out in the Leo full reading that came out in your short that somebody was holding back. But either way, when I filmed your short, it was like somebody wants to be with you or they're making it seem like they want to be with you, but they're not really showing you their true identity. Like they could be claiming that they only want to be with you and that may not be the truth. Even though they know you're irreplaceable or they know that you're somebody who's very valuable or unique, they, it's like... I can't really put my finger on this person's energy. It's like maybe they don't want you to know that they feel this strongly about you because maybe they may, might feel like you'll have some control over them or something like that. Or it could be a situation where they're not. It's like they're whoever this is, it doesn't matter their motives. <clears throat> but the point is, <clears throat> they're not speaking clearly with you about who they really are or they're not really showing you who they who they really are. It's like they're kind of wearing a false mask or showing you a false identity or a false profile. I don't know if this is somebody you're dealing with online, but whatever you see on their profile is not true. It's catfish. Like their pictures might not even be their pictures. Okay. Um, it could also be a situation where this person is not whatever. Yeah. You might not even care, but it just feels like somebody is not showing their true authentic identity to you. Mm. And it could be for any of those reasons, okay? But let's see, for Virgo, Guardian Angels, Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, Father, Mother, God, what can Virgo expect when it comes to love? Y'all be sure to subscribe, like the video. If you want to book a personal, the link is below. And if you'd like to donate or contribute, I would greatly appreciate it. Up to you. That link is below for PayPal or Zelle. All right, so Spirit for Virgo, what can they expect in the near future when it comes to love? Oh my God, if I get that flipping card one more time. People really need liquid courage these days or they really are some alcoholics roaming around out here. Because, oh my God, drinking. Let's meet for drinks to loosen up the mood. You see how much I shuffled this deck? This just came out in the Leo reading and I feel like it came out in... I feel like it came out in like maybe the Taurus reading. I don't know. It came out a bunch of times, y'all. Testing the waters, exploring the potential of this relationship and the entire day. I want to spend the day with you, just us two. This person has drinking. Somebody got drinking issues. And they may be exploring the potential of the relationship, but I feel like they only really want to be with you. But there's something they're not, maybe they're not telling you that they're an alcoholic. That could definitely be it. There's parts of this person that they're not actually revealing to you. Look, holding back, dishonesty. They could have financial issues. They could have alcoholism issues. They could have issues with telling the truth. Mm. And you may just be getting to know this. You may not care that much, honestly, Virgo. You may just be getting to know this person a little bit, but it's like, it just feels like they just are trying to like create this persona that's not real. What else for Virgo do we need to know, Spirit? When it comes, y'all, the car flip neglected. I failed to give you what you need. So somebody could be drinking a lot because they feel like they failed in the relationship with you. They may be trying, like somebody feels like they failed in some way. I don't know how this plays out in your situation, but they feel like they failed giving you what you needed or doing what you needed them to do, or they couldn't stand up to the task of pleasing you or giving you what you needed. So they're trying to come back and test the waters to see if you if you maybe want to go out for drinks or they're trying to test the waters to see if you want to spend time with them. Yeah, unworthy. You're a better person than I am. And understanding, I see your side of the story. 
Mm. They don't feel like they're worthy of you. They, they feel like they're beneath you, Virgo. They feel like they're not worthy of your time, energy, and effort. And they see how they neglected you. And now they understand how you feel. So they're trying to come back around and see if you're willing to possibly continue this connection with them. Or allow them to make up for what they did wrong. But they need liquid courage, okay? What does Virgo need to know when it comes to this situation? Oh, five of wands reversed. They don't want to fight. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to argue. They don't want to disagree. They want to work together. But they also may be opposed to learning some type of lesson. I kind of feel like this person isn't learning a lesson for whatever reason. And you may make a decision to move forward. Because you don't want to fight and you don't want to argue. Strong Leo energy, possibly Aquarius, maybe Libra. This person may be very defensive, but they don't want to argue anymore. Or you may be just protecting yourself by moving on from this because you don't want to argue anymore. And it's, that's how you're going to protect yourself in the situation. What's this five of wands reversed when it comes to what Virgo needs to know? Nine of Pentacles. See what I'm saying? You're not about to argue with this person. <laughs> what the fuck you look like? That's your energy. You're not coming with no drama. I feel like they're the one who came with the drama. Yep. Empress energy, period. That's you all day, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles, Empress, and the Seven of Pentacles. It's like... I feel like you were willing to make a solid investment in this connection. You didn't invest a lot of time and energy. Like, you didn't invest all of your time and your energy, but you definitely invested a decent amount of time and energy into this person. I feel like you look good. I feel like you dress nicely. I feel like you're well off. Like, you just really have this air about you that you really don't have time for this shit, but you gave somebody some time. You, like... You kind of come off like you got all the time in the world because you really don't have any cares or stresses right now and you're just kind of good. And everything kind of comes to you really easily. You don't have to fight that hard for it. You just have to be patient sometimes. Like eventually people come around or eventually you get what it is that you want and you know that all the time. It's like you were just waiting for this person to realize the error of their ways. <laughs> and now they realize that you always, it's like, oh my goodness. This is going to sound really arrogant, but it's like you realize, well, they realize, sorry, that you always win, Virgo. Like this person is realizing that you always win and you don't even fight. <laughs> like, honey, what I look like fighting. What's the five of wands reverse? What's the five of wands reverse with this nine of pentacles? Ace of pentacles. Yeah. There's something unique about you in this way. Like, I don't know. This attracts this person to you. I just feel like all the time, like for your whole life, you've always gotten what it is that you like. You're always protected. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they just have your back. You don't have to fight because they fight the battles for you. That's what that seven of wands was there for. They protect you and they guide you and they keep you. And you know that. And you don't ever have to worry about it. So it's like you go into situations very innocently or you go into situations really confidently. However it is that you carry yourself, it's very regal. It's very poised and classy. Whether you're masculine or feminine, it really doesn't matter. But it really feels like a strong feminine energy. So you don't have to fight. Like, why would I fight with you? The moon card and the ace of wands. So secretly, this person wants another opportunity. I feel like... If there's anyone else who you're dealing with, this person wants to kind of like beat out the competition to be able to come out on top. 
I feel like also if this person is not telling you the truth about how they really feel, their feelings are deep. They're deeply attracted to you and I feel like they want something real. The truth about their feelings though is hidden and that's where I feel like the kind of false mask energy or that catfish energy was coming out in your short. It's because they see how powerful you are and that you always get what you want. So they don't want to make it easy for you. Like, I don't know what that's about. But that's what I was kind of getting in your message on the short was that it's like this person doesn't want you to know how much control that you have over them or how much power that they feel like you have over them. They really don't want you to know. But if they don't come out and say it, if they're not truthful with their feelings, then they're not going to get what they want or they're not going to learn the lesson here. It's like the lesson that spirit is trying to teach this person is to be honest about their feelings, even if it puts, puts them in a vulnerable position. Because that's what's going to get you to put in effort on your end. If they're vulnerable with you, you'll reciprocate that vulnerability. If they're open with you, you'll reciprocate that openness. But it's hard for this person to do that if they're not drinking or if they're if they're not intoxicated or it's hard for this person to do that without like some type of added courage or incentive. I, I just feel like they're not as confident as you. And it's not that they try to like tarnish your confidence, but I feel like it's a side effect of their own insecurities. Because they don't want you to know that you won or they don't want you to know that you have this power over them. So in essence, because they don't want you to know that, they're technically doing things that subconsciously are removing your power or or intend to remove your power and give power back to them. But if they just would relinquish control, they wouldn't have to have this back and forth with you because you're not going to argue. That's crazy. What else does Virgo need to know? Black magic. I'm telling you, that's what it is. It's a game. It's a game that this person is playing to have power or control. Cuffing season because they want to have control in the relationship. So they're putting on a show. All right. But it's like you're not playing the game because I feel like, you know, you're going to win. <laughs> so it ain't no reason for you to play because, you know, you're going to win. So we might as well just say I won and be done. <laughs> like, that's kind of what it feels like. <laughs> oh, my God. So if somebody's trying to act like you're not that important to them or that they don't feel that strong about you, they're lying. Okay. What's black magic? What's black magic? Page of swords. Yeah. I don't know. It's like playing with your head or something. I don't know. This, per this person feel like they learned a little something from you and now they can... I don't know. Maybe you told them about yourself or I don't know. It's like they feel like they learned something about you or they know something about you and now they feel like they're a genius. They're not that smart. <laughs> and they're watching you. And they're thinking about you all the time. Trying to channel you towards them. Okay. Three of Swords and the King of Swords. Yeah. There's some type of disappointment here. This could be someone you broke up with. I feel like they thought they could control you and they learned the hard way. <laughs> or they thought they could manipulate your thoughts and they learned the hard way. So now you have another opportunity that's being presented to you, maybe with a job, maybe with a business financially. You have even more opportunities that are coming your way and you already have so much stuff already in the chamber and now more is coming towards. It's like, it's just, that's just what it is. Okay, Cancer Energy is out here, possibly Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Strong Leo. Yeah. What else does Virgo need to know, Spirit? Cocky. I'm telling you, 
It's all about them. Stress for your attention. You are the real badass. That's what I just said. At the bottom, sneaky, going behind your back, telling lies about you, having secret affairs. Messy. Messy. Just to try to look like they winning. And you're not even playing the game. You're not even fighting. They, they fighting themselves. Renewed. Releasing a heavy burden, feeling sexy and alive, enduring despite hardship. Yeah, so I feel like you dropped this person. You broke up with this person. You're single now. You're single again. You may not even be talking to that many people, but this person thinks you have a lot of people who you're talking to. Or I don't know exactly what this is, but I feel like you meet new people all the time that, you know, either they're, it's like they're not really that important. It's just like you meet new people all the time. It just is what, like, it's like you're not, you're not very like, you're, it's like you're not cocky yourself. This person is cocky. But they get this vibe from you as if you're cocky because it's natural. Like, you're not trying to be cocky. You're not trying to be this way. It's just that's what you are. You know who you are. And I just feel like somebody tried to maybe belittle you or diminish you because they wanted you to feel a, a way about maybe them not wanting to be with you. Or I don't know what the fuck happened. But it just feels like they were trying to win. And you, you like... What's wrong with you, boo-boo? <laughs> what are you trying to win? There ain't, ain't no game going on. This is life. That's crazy. And I feel like they're trying to match your energy, but they don't know how to match your energy naturally and authentically. All they know how to do is compete with you, which comes off as something toxic because it shouldn't be a competition between a person who you're dealing with or in a relationship. It should just be... That we both match each other's fly. That we both accentuate each other's greatness. And they don't know how to do that because secretly they're threatened by you. Okay. But they want to spend the entire day with you. And they're going to see if you're willing to maybe get a little intoxicated with them. Let them back in. Okay. But remember, cocky and sneaky. What's the advice for Virgo when it comes to this situation? Spirit, what's the advice for Virgo? Oh, <laughs> the lovers. The lovers. I feel like you do feel strongly about this person, but it's kind of like a... It might be a little bit of a stressful dynamic. You may decide to work things out with this person, but choose wisely. Go with the flow. If you ever start to feel like you don't like the dynamic, Spirit is telling you, make a choice. Because your choice is important here. And you may have a lot of feelings for this person. But I think they want you to see how threatened you may make this person. And how it how, how it affects maybe your personal self-esteem. Even if you don't feel like it is. It could be kind of like affecting your personal self-esteem. Or just energetically draining you. So just keep that in mind. So... I hope it helped, Virgo. I love you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, put a purple heart in the comments if it resonated, you guys. And if you want to book a personal, that link is below. Also, if you'd like to donate or contribute, the PayPal or the Zelle link for that is below. I appreciate you guys. And that's it. That's all. See y'all next time. Bye.